Okay. Oops. What happened? Okay. So let me share my screen right now. Okay, so um, guys, I know it's for some of you, it may be your first time to see me, but I still want to um, see you. So if you would like to open your camera, I would appreciate it. Yeah, so hi to everyone. So uh, why don't I start by um, self-introduction in case some of you don't know me. So um, as you can see, uh, you can call me Scarlett and um, I'm one of the advisors for YEFA and I'm now a senior student in NYU and uh, I study media communication. So um, if any of you wanna study related area, just feel free to reach out to me. Uh, I'm also like, uh, yeah, I'm not so far away from college application. So uh, if you have any like, uh, really um, urgent questions for me, I would love to. And you can always find me um, in the Discord channel. Uh, my Discord channel name is also Scarlet Stone, so it's like really easy to find me. Yeah, so um, after me, so I let's welcome uh, our school leaders. And I want you to all introduce yourself a little bit. It's like not a long, but just like, what's your uh, school? What's your grade? and maybe name one of your hobbies or like um, a fun fact about yourself. Uh, I would appreciate that. Okay, so uh, if you don't mind, let me start from someone I know. So, Bill, would you like to start? Okay, sure. So my, my name is Bill. I'm currently in 10th grade. Okay, so unlike you guys, I'm actually in Canada. So that's a fun fact. So I've been in the YEFA team since around February. So it's been some time now. Okay, and as a hobby, I would say I like to skateboard. Yeah, thank you, Bill. Um, and the next, uh, the next on my screen will be Kevin. Okay, so um, yeah, I'm Kevin. And um, I've like been a part of the team and like I've been in the Discord for some time now, but like haven't really got too into it. So like I'm just just getting started with school, so maybe so I'm just getting started. And um a hobby of mine would be like tennis. I really love tennis. So yeah, I just spent like three hours watching my Packers last match. So yeah. Okay, thank you, Kevin. And next will be Adele. Hi, I'm Adele. Um, my school is Harpeth Hall in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm in eighth grade and I like golf. Welcome. And next one will be Hao Chen. I don't know whether I pronounce it right, but yeah, welcome. Um. Yeah, hi, my name is Hao Chen, and I come from Cypress Bay High School from Florida. Um, and I'm a sophomore, uh, and my hobby would be um, swimming. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Hao Chen. Um, and next one, we'll pass on to Lily. Hi, I'm Lily. I'm a junior at River Hill High School, and one of my hobbies is speech and debate. Thank you, Lily. And the next will be Alexander. Were you able to introduce yourself, Alex? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm Alex. I'm a sophomore at Fairview High School in Boulder, Colorado. And uh, a fun fact about me is I can type 207 words per minute for 15 seconds straight. Oh, super impressive. Good to know that. Right. Um, next will be Kevin Chen. Welcome. Hello guys, I'm Kevin. I'm a senior at Human Fog High School, also in Nashville, and one of my hobbies is playing soccer. Yeah, thank you, Kevin. Um, and next will be Iris. 
Um, hi, my name is Iris. I'm in grade 10 and like Bill, I'm from Canada. And a hobby is fencing, I guess. Cool. Um, next will be Grace. Hi, I'm Grace. I'm from Hamilton High School, which is in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, and I've been on the EFA working team for about the same time as Bill and Alex. Um, and I'm in the marketing department. Yeah, thank you, Grace, for your department, <laughs> for everything. Uh, so next will be Justin. I'm Justin, and I'm a junior at Lambert High School, which is in Atlanta, Georgia. And honestly, like for the past few months since school started, my hobby's been sleeping. Sorry to hear. Uh, next will be um, Stanley. Hey guys, my name is Stanley. I'm from Shanghai American School. I'm calling in from China right now, and then I'm a cross country runner. Cool. Um, next will be Ella. Hi, Ella. Are you able to uh, introduce yourself or you can type in the chat room? Yes. Okay, good to know you. Um, and next will be Tiffany. Okay, hi, I'm Tiffany. Um, I can't really like turn on my camera right now, but yeah, um, I'm a so okay. <laughs> I'm a sophomore. I live in Northern Virginia, and I'm also part of the Yefa team. And one of my hobbies is playing guitar. Okay, so really good to see you all. Some again, some uh, the first time. So um, I'll just begin with some like uh, information that, uh, in case you don't know. Um, so I think uh, our IFR members, uh, you already see oh, see this um, for tons of time, but I'm still gonna uh, reiterate this. So what is YEFA about YEFA? Uh, we are a Youth Entrepreneurship and Finance Association, and we are an IRS approved 501c3 nonprofit organization. Um, so one of the benefit we have is um, the volunteer hours at EFA will be accepted by AFI, which is an, uh, which is an like adult version of EFA uh, for the for the President Volunteer Service Award for U.S. students. So, in case you don't know, uh, the last year the President Award for last year uh, already placed uh, by me uh, today. So, I think uh, sooner or later you will receive the certificate. Um. So, okay. So the third one is um. So we are completely self-operated. Students, members, and volunteers self-operate YEFA with guidance from senior advisors, which like uh, I belong to, yeah. So um, for some general information, um, we partnered with AFI and VSVIS, as you can, you all know. Um, so we have this support from a community over 60,000 members. And we also have some resources and guidance from industry elites, uh, which you will hear uh, more details by Lily uh, in the next few minutes. Um, and so we have this Gen Z seminar and it's open for, uh, it's free to all our members. And last but not least, which is more important, uh, most important one is we have uh, AFI and Lee's Vice Academy uh, give us financial support, so which we really need. Wow. Um, and the Visa Vice Academy uh, provides us uh, free online courses, uh, which I'll uh, tell you how to get, uh, how to access to it. And then uh, if you are performing very well, uh, we can, uh, we can provide you some opportunity for online internship. Um, and also we offer a platform for volunteer teaching. So if you're specialized in, in specific area, uh, we welcome you to have a class on our platform. Um, and last but not least is the we provide uh, guidance for investment competition, which is the uh, the pass by SIG, and we will help um, another uh, investment challenge next year. So hopefully you can also join it. So thus far, uh, I think this 
data is uh, un updated. We will soon update it, uh, but currently we have more than 60 submissions. So I don't expect only like a quarter of pe uh, the people join the meeting. So uh, let me know what's the best way to reach out to your guys, okay? So um, next uh, will be how to run a YEFA chapter. I know most of you already back to school right now. So uh, we require that you have five members to attend YEFA events. Uh, the five member also includes yourself. Uh, the next step will be fill out our registration form, which you all did. Um, and maybe you can recommend this uh, YEFA school club to your uh, peers, like in other schools, if they haven't got one in their school. So the one thing I want to remind is, although we are no school appro approval needed, uh, but if you want, or if you are able to do that, you want to make it more official, you can try that. We encourage you to try. Um, and last will be um, just participate like today. If I say, uh, I noted, I inform you through email and web uh, discord that uh, we are going to have a monthly meeting. Uh, know that it, it's like once a month, so it won't take you a long time, a lot of time. So remember to join. We are always have a lot of important announcement to make. Okay, so um, about little suggestions. Uh, so we currently uh, suggest you to offer free study, uh, uh, self-study sessions uh, using our free study guides uh, on the IFA website. Um, and also because we have this um, free seminar, so maybe you can organize, uh, just organize your fellow students to watch them together, you know, find a time. Uh, and then is secondly will be our monthly meeting, which is today, and we will announce it uh, in advance for next monthly meeting. Uh, and third one will be organize events. We have several uh, projects. I think it's three going on. So you can help us promote this events. And also, um, if you have your own ideas, you can make it make a pitch to us, and we will decide whether we can help you with that. And finally is uh, to participate in our competitions yourself, because if you don't participate in our competition, like how do you persuade your uh, fellow students to participate, right? So uh, if you participate in that, you can have more sense about uh, the YEFA organization and how it, how it work um, in general. So about YEFA structures, uh, a lot of us are um, from the YEFA headquarter, which is the management team uh, in the Discord channel, you can see. Uh, but beside that, we also have uh, senior advisors and parent com committee. So senior advisors are um, Angeline and me. We are adults and we are uh, in the back to help you uh, whenever you encounter some trouble. And then we have you guys as school chapters. Um, and yeah, so some benefits we offer is um, we have um, free financial literacy and fi uh, investment classes. Um, second is um, you have definitely have this access to YFA's ver uh, various conferences and competitions with cash prize and chance to organize events uh, like all of you already did. Um, and also the hours can be uh, qualified to receive the President's Service Award. Um, and then the the platform, we have the platform to present and promote events for Gen Z. So this is, um, although I'm a little bit old, I'm still kind of Gen Z. So yeah, uh, this is the platform for all of us. So uh, thinking, uh, talking about the uh, free seminar, we have, we currently have this Wall Street Talk uh, by Ray uh, every Sunday, 7, 7 p.m. So you can always receive this notice uh, and Zoom link through the uh, YEFA weekly newsletter. So be sure to check your email every week. We will include the uh, newest projects and we all the resources we have for the next week uh, in the news uh, weekly newsletter. So just check that often. Okay, so introduce some something new. Um, we have this tiers. Uh, so we have like four levels of school club. If you uh, have like five members, you're Browns, which I think I bet you already have. And then when you have uh, 10 members, your club upgrade to silver. And then when you meet uh, 25, it upgrades to gold. And then like, which is like a final, final goal, which is a uh, platinum. 
uh, at that time, you you only only need fifty members to reach that. Okay. So after that, I'm talking about some suggested po uh, positions. So we suggest that you have one president, but know that um, the president does not have to be the founder. So if you found your club, right, but you say, oh, I don't have that time to contribute, or uh, I'm just not in that leadership position, you can just recruit anyone, like anyone you trust, but you are still the co-founder, okay? So, um, so it doesn't have to be the founder, but just to make sure uh, you know that. And then we have like one to two core leaders. So we uh, suggest you to have one vice president and a secretary, that's very necessary. So um, these two leaders are very, uh, very critical to your daily work. And then we have events leaders. So because we have different leaders, uh, different events. So you may, you may some events uh, may not, uh, you know, you may not interested in that so much. So maybe you can recruit someone for just a single event. Um, and then we have club members. So uh, it's like not they sign up for EFA club, but as long as they attend EFA events, they automatically counted as EFA members. So, okay, if you're clear about that, so let me introduce some our past events and our ongoing events. So um, we have this International High School Social Impact Conference, um, uh, I think two months ago, and it will be a yearly event. So next year we will hold, uh, hold this event again, and also for BICIC, uh, Youth Sustainable uh, Investment Challenge. It's a virtual stock trading competition. Um, so for uh, students from grade six to 12. Uh, and also we have this ongoing VISAC, which is youth SDG art competition. So students will create art pieces based on the theme of sustainability. And this is still, um, this competition is still accepting uh, art pieces. So welcome if you're inter interested. Uh, and also you, you can recommend to your uh, peers. Uh, and also we have Gen Z semin career seminar, which Lily will illustrate it uh, in later uh, minutes. And last, we have this very new project, a voice of Asian youth, and we will let Kevin to introduce it. So uh, mentioned about uh, this uh, IHSSIC, let's welcome Alex for a little bit a brief introduction so you guys know um what's uh what's the details and like if you whether you want to join for the next year so time is yours Alex yeah Alex? yeah so um pretty much uh the International High School Social Impact Conference or the acronym is IHSSIC it's a competition where various nonprofit organizations uh, that are mostly student run. Um, they kind of give presentations and so short pitches about the nonprofit's impact, um, what they're doing, uh, and all and their and their background and all of that. And so the way that the results are the winners are determined is we have a vote. And there's also a bunch of different fun activities that we hold during the conference itself. Um, but pretty much you pre you just get to prepare a presentation for a nonprofit or, or more, more specifically your nonprofit and you just get to compete in this competition and there's a bunch of cool prizes too as well um so de it's definitely highly recommended that you participate especially if you have your own nonprofit that you want to showcase um and then after the conference all of the non nonprofits contact information also go on our website so if you um if you go to i think i have the website link right here i'll just send the website link so on that website you can see all of the nonprofits that participated in uh the for our first ever international high school social impact conference which was i think in july uh so yeah definitely definitely a really fun event to attend um and uh yeah you guys should totally to totally go try it out yeah thank you alex for the introduction and we appreciated your work during this event um, and so next will be VISIC. So if Justin, you want to say something about VISIC because it's mostly you lead this event. Hi, Justin, are you listening to that? <laughs> if you're not gonna introduce, I'll just do it instead. Um, 
Okay, so it's um, an ESG themed portfolio management competition, although it's like sustainability, but we don't actually require that much um, percentage, only five percentage of uh, sustainability will be counted uh, in the final uh, report. So um, students from six to 12, uh, grade six to 12 uh, can attend. So you don't need to have any background knowledge because YEFA provides you all the materials and seminars you can learn your knowledge from, and we encourage you to seek help uh, to your uh, from your parents or teachers. Anything can help you. Um, and this is also a very great opportunity for you to prepare for your future uh, investment competitions, which is like really uh, like next level, but you can use Vysic as a um, platform to practice and to know more about this knowledge. So um, this year we have um, a lot of cash prize. So we have um, $10,000 cash prize in total. So if you get into the top 10, every team, uh, it will have the chance to get the cash prize and you will be invited to MIC for the final conference where you will meet the uh, judges from Wall Street. So you can network with them uh, and then you can just communicate and you know enjoy your life here in MIC. So yeah, and I'll talk about VISAC. So actually we had, um, we had an info session on Wednesday, and we will hold another another info session tomorrow night. But it will it will be a Chinese info session. So, um, it's also a SDGR. So it's also always about sustainability, and it is created to inspire our youth to innovate high quality solutions to environmental problems through art. So this year we have the uh, theme. We created a theme called future foods. So just imagine you the future looks like and how the food supply will be. So it's this competition is not uh, always about art, uh, art skills, but it's more about your creativity. Uh, how do you connect uh, art and sustain, uh, just link them together, sustainability together, and how your uh, art piece uh, it can reflect this theme this is all calculated into the final uh, uh, judgment. So uh, next we will let us welcome Lili to um, introduce our new project, Gen Z Seminar, uh, Career Path Seminars. So welcome to Lili. Thank you, Scarlett. So basically we're really excited to introduce our newest program, which is the Gen Z Career Path Seminars. And what this is, is it's basically an opportunity to learn about future career paths and also get involved with a lot of leadership and event organization. So basically, we're going to be hosting a series of seminars under different majors and career fields. As of right now, our first series is going to be the finance series, which is six to seven seminars long and covers a lot of the different aspects of finance. So as chapter leaders, you'll be able to host these seminars so you can reach out to speakers, plan the seminars, and also actually run the seminars. And to do this, we're going to have a bunch of different groups or divisions like the marketing, event coordination, outreach, hosting division, and probably others. So you can either help to plan and host these seminars, or you can bring people from your club chapter to attend the seminars, or you can do both. And on the next slide, some of the specific benefits or opportunities of this program include learning about different career paths, especially if you're not sure what you want to go into. This gives you a good taste of what a lot of the different fields are going to look like by getting to speak with industry professionals. You can also learn how to host seminars and exercise your public speaking skills, develop leadership skills, and use marketing, planning, and management skills. So if any of you are interested in this program, please don't hesitate to reach out to me and then we can work on setting up some of our first seminars. And our first actual seminar for the finance series is going to be October 15th, I believe. So be on the lookout for information for that. Thanks. Yeah, thank you so much, Lili, for this such an am amazing presentation. And note that uh, this career uh, seminar is not only about uh, finance, it's always about, um, it can be in another major. So if you're interested in other majors, just feel free to set up your own. 
Um, so next, we will welcome Kevin for his uh, project. So Kevin, are you, oh, let me just stop screen share. Oh, yeah. Okay, um, so I'll, I'll make you the co-host. So, okay, thanks. Yeah, yeah um, I have Wi-Fi is really not doing too good right now. So if I get laggy, just like, please tell me. Okay, so just wait a minute. Okay, you're good. Okay, sweet. So um, most of y'all have probably seen this presentation before, well, at least some of y'all. So I'm not gonna share share like you actually. I'll present it. Uh, yeah, cool. So basically, um, this is an new subdivision, I guess, and a new project that uh, yes, I was working on that um, I had this idea over the summer. So basically, right now I think you know, if I yes, I'm doing a lot of really really good educational stuff, and it's really empowering our youth. But I think something that we're lacking is like, I guess, a more tight knit community and more personal connections, and I guess just you know a place where we can talk and a place where we can share our experiences and everything. So, um, I decided to make something more personal, and I decided to make something more conversational. And I decided to call it Voice of Asian Youth because um, I want to help you know Asian youth know how to use their voice, and I want to encourage them to learn how to use their voice to uh, you know express themselves and to talk about societal problems and to stand up for themselves. So um, basically, there are a lot of staff here. People that skipped that for today. So basically, what we want to do is to make sure that we can create a community for Asian youth so that they can. You know, first of all, thrive and feel safe and feel supported, and last of all, you know, have successful lives, and you know, that's always the end goal. Um, so our mission is, you know, we want to foster Asian youth advocacy. We want to boost our confidence. We want to find our sense of identity within, um, you know, Asia in the United States. And I have classmates and our friends that constantly find themselves struggling with their own identity. And then lastly, we want to develop willingness and ability to speak up for ourselves. So, um, and our motto is just, you know, don't be afraid to use your voice to talk about how you feel, to talk about what you feel, and to talk about what you think. So overall, um, let's skip that and see what he tells us. This is what we're going to do. We're going to have four facets to voice of Asian youth. We're going to have peer discussions. We're going to have public, uh, public speech. We're going to have debates. And then we're going to have fireside chats. So basically what this is going to do is that, you know, first of all, peer discussions, we're going to have a bunch of people just talking together about their experiences with, you know, being just for the overall experience of being Asian in the United States. How did they grow up? What challenges did they face? How did they um, overcome those challenges and everything like that? Um, I just want to create a community where we can feel safe, where we can talk about our own experiences, where we can, um, you know, grow as a community and everything. And then we also have debates in public speech that, you know, first of all, um, you know, I know Lynn does speech and debate too. Well, I personally, I really enjoy speech and debate. I think it's really beneficial for everyone. And second of all, I think it's, you know, a great way to foster your communication skills. It's a great way to foster your own confidence. And it's a great way to learn how to not back up when people are attacking your opinions. And, you know, last of all, it's about public speech and it's all about talking. It's all about expressing. It's all about communicating. And I think right now that's what we lack as um, Asian Americans in the United States. We don't speak up enough, we don't talk enough, and we don't express ourselves enough. And I think that's really gonna help Asian youths, um, you know, like everyone else here, um, to do that. And then last of all, we have fireside chats where we basically get like, <coughs> sorry, I'm still recovering from, still recovering from COVID. So we're gonna have Asian, I guess, youth, but like. Um, mostly college graduates, or like people who are in college right now, or like uh, seniors in high school, or maybe sometimes um, people who just started their professional career. We're gonna have them come in and give some, um, I guess, lectures, but it's more about sharing again their own personal experiences with being Asian and living in the United States. Um, what challenges did they face? How did they overcome it? And to foster more personal uh, connection between the audience and the speaker, and just to create a community where we can all learn and from the past experiences so that we know what to do when we grow up 
and so that we have a community that we can always feel comfortable in. So yeah, basically that's it. And so I'm gonna stop sharing right now. And the thing I really want, um, and the thing that I really need from Yepa, I guess it's um, I just started this, so I can get, I hope to get every single bit of support that I have. And right now uh, we have a lot of roles in this new um, portion of Yepa that needs to be filled. Um, so in the future, I'll most likely need someone to like, <coughs> You know, be the host of peer discussions, you know, have the the discussion, talk about, um, give people ideas, give people topics to talk about. And then lastly, after the discussions are done, like record stuff that was being talked about, stuff that was being discussed in these peer discussions. Um, I need someone to like, you know, make our website and everything because I coding is really not my thing. I just, I suck at coding. Every single time I look like code, so I just had to get a headache. So yeah, um, someone to make a website and everything, and then someone to run our social media platform. I think right now, that's the roles that I'm aiming for, and I would really appreciate anyone that's willing to, um, you know, contribute to the growth of Asian American youth in America. So, yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you for the presentation, and anyone, if you want to join, um, so just reach out, uh, Kevin and Lily in the Discord. Uh, you can just, uh, Kevin and Lily, you can also just send a message in Discord and just let others know who you are. Um, so yeah, let me get back sharing. So uh, just like you, you, as you can see, we have different leaders for different events in YEFA. So everyone gets a chance to be a event leader here. Um, so uh, if you have, you can generate your own ideas with your club members and you can pitch your project idea to us and we will decide uh, how to help you and we will give you, give you the opportunity to recruit talent, talented students from our platform. Um, yeah, so um, finally is join our Discord. I don't know whether you're in, but if you're not, just remember to join because we always uh, make announcement in the Discord channel. Um, Okay, so um, yeah, I think that's, uh, I'm done. Uh, do you have anything to say, Angeline, as the yes. first monthly meeting? Um, yes, I do. Uh, do you wanna to dis dis share your screen? Okay. Yes. Um, so um, I'm, uh, I'm very happy. Uh, please do the screenshot. For the people who join the meeting, we need to keep the uh, attendancy. Of course for that. Um, so uh, I'm happy to see a lot of people's face. Please open your camera uh, because uh, we we are working on building the platform just for you, for every one of you. So you show up in the meeting, you show up on the leadership. Trust me, you are already advanced. They are the one and one of the only one that are building the finance for Chinese Asian community, of course, we also expand to other races. So I, those, I just mentioned that, um, so in the future, all the events that adult event, all the high school students are free to join as a volunteer. Um, so for example, next Thursday, September 29th, I'm gonna share with you that about more than half of the 10 CEOs, quant managers, um, banking, invest bank executive, they are hiring and they are coming to meet, have an event that I organized. So any students want to join free as a volunteer, please let me know. Uh, if one or two people, you can, if you come on a bit longer, you can stay in my house. This is an opportunity for you to start to network uh, with banking people. That will be, be a little bit more advanced, right? So I'm going to show you this is one opportunity to um, show you. I just want to extend my, yeah, the, the, the number of the people are limited because the whole place is only allowed 90 people. And this is one of first year, let me show you. Okay. So if you are near the New York or even you want to come in, um, you, you feel free. Oh, every time you come to New York um, for our event, you apply because I, my house can host multiple people. Uh, so just let me know. 
uh, I can pick you from Alpo, you can be in my home. Justin was my home before. <laughs> so this is the event. This is the all CEO. You can see on the right side is all CEOs. Um, they are in, uh, ventures, they are fund managers, they are managed monies. This left side is all the people in the banks are hiring. I have a lot of the college students actually coming from college direct come to this event and go back to school. And I give all the high school students free. Okay. Um, so they all, it's an English speak panel. Uh, if you, if you want to start working as a volunteer to such event, volunteer, basically, I don't really have a lot of things for you to do, but we have registration, 90 people offline in the New York next to Central Park, beautiful place. Uh, let me know, okay? So this, this is Amy John. This is the best, number one ranking on the small cap fund manager. She's uh, start picking, as you know, we have a YSEEK. So we have all those resources in the future. We'll try to help you do it, okay? And just, this is just one example. I'm actually sending to Discord. Uh, I would say I will give this opportunity to the core leaders who show up often. So Scarlett, I do need the, you know, the registration. Did you turn on the registration? I think it needs the administration uh, account to, to enable it. I uh, know, yeah. So every time the high school students meeting, I need to enable the registration. So I know who's attend more often. Uh, also, by the way, uh, I would uh, like to tell you congratulations. Many of you here that you will receive um, volunteer out the certificate. And then we also, each calendar school year, if you are US uh, residents and US citizen, today we issue a lot of gold, silver, and uh, um, bronze. And for the people who you are not US citizen, we will issue you special award. We're based on your attendance. A lot of students here, you are very humble. You put 50 hours, I bump you up to the level that you can get brought because I know you have a heart for us. You don't count too many hours, but for you to prepare the meeting. Um, so Bill, you are in the Canada. I'm actually searching the Canada award. Uh, if you can find any award, I would nominate you, okay? So I um, actually have a Canada nonprofit too. It's already open last year. So slowly, uh, I'm working with China, Canada, different country. So all the use, we will do the best we can. So for like people like Alex, Grace, I can name it, Lily, Stanley, Justin, all those people who show up, uh, we keep the records how many times you show up and what you do. Um, so a lot of, a few people receive go, even you don't apply. Uh, we also issue the Scarlet, we're gonna uh, prepare the outstanding each semester, each each uh, school calendar year. Year five is gonna get an award ceremony. I know it's hard for you to fly, but I probably, we were thinking about uh, February 18, that when we have offline YC con convention, right? I already have a people giving me the place. Um, so I might invite the core people who are working very hard for YFA coming here, uh, leaving. Uh, so I'm trying to get you free, okay? I'm trying very hard uh, to see our budget. Um, if I invite you, you'll be free leaving. You're leaving at least my house. I don't, my house can hold uh, five to 10 or 20 people. Anyway, so um, we the New York City Wall Street Conference um, hotel. I'm also talking to hotel owners. I don't know a lot of owners. If we can get a lot of room in New York City, then all the people who devote to IFA, uh will have a lot of special opportunity. Um, the other thing is we're also working with uh, another nonprofit college. Remember, we will watch you grow. You are not here alone. Uh, even if you have time, you do more things. If you don't have time, do a little thing, but don't leave us because we give all the resources for you to, to help you grow. For example, Lily, 
I think the Davy and um, Frank's leading the career panel that gonna benefit many of you. We're gonna leading the career panel for each industry all for free, all for year fast club. So I'm pretty sure when you are the young leader for your school club now, uh, you at least immediately, if you go to web page, all of your school people, student can feel free to join our event from next year, 2023, only the EFR leaders team uh, members can join our event because we give special cash rewards. So here tonight, leader, please manage. Uh, Scarlett, gonna, we're gonna send out all the leader, whoever join our event in your school. Because you might not know, maybe you have five students from different resource join our YC. So every student join out any event, we will send to the club founder. We will inform you that, okay, your school have 10, five people join up. They are default to be your member. So I ask every student who sign up the founder, you start to organize, manage your school club. We like you to manage yourself. And then you would, we will start to have this reporting system that you were reporting. I think right now, Bill and Alex, both of you will nominate Bill as a leader. Alex, Alex, you are the social impact leader for sure. That's wonderful. But I want so Lily and Frank and you will be career leaders. Justin Wysik, I know you have a lot of co and uh, Cameron will be your program, right? So every student, if your club have a different ideas, you wanted to have a nice nationwide conference please come to Scarlet. We support you. For example, Kevin Jing, he just gave you the voice of youth, right? He's, his program gonna be announced on our platform. We're gonna support him. So same thing, you bring up to the, the ideas. If we're thinking is value, uh, evaluate, we'll help you. Currently, year five have a 10,000 mailing list. So year five start with a very high, um, a uh, high population platform. You know, many nonprofit only have 2,500 people. You start immediately with 10,000 mailing list and audience. So um, this is the stage for you to show your talent, to exercise your leadership. And also we wanted to in the future, uh, I seeking, I'm actually talking with many schools that we might get all the leaders together as a leaders camp. Okay, but I'm slowly get. We have to first get money, budget, sponsor, right? So, but not right now. All the leader, all the year five event, uh, even for adult, for the opportunity, you, you feel free to come as a volunteer. Then you can start to get to know and uh, a lot of experience. Train yourself. So, for example, September 29 event. All those CEO, they actually gonna give this. Uh, hiring interview on site. If you are 12th grade, 11th grade, you want to have some summer camp, summer internship for free, those company, you can come to meet CEO. Maybe not high school, but when you go to college, you know them, you're coming every year uh, because they're all my dear friends. Okay, so this is all the year, but this is a network. This brace, this we are the only one and also the only one promote investment entrepreneur public for Asian community. We're also the largest one have a population. I just talking to Olympic gold guide. He came to my office this afternoon for four hours. He guiding the US high school Olympic team to beat China's US Olympic team gold. Uh, so he's coming to me. He also working with many high school. He want to promote his mass uh, Olympic things throughout the country and want to make impact. So he was in my office this afternoon. Trust me, I'm still in the office. I can show you my office here if I turn off. So exciting that, um, yeah. So you have my background. So if I sh unclick my background, I want to show you my office. Oh, why? Yeah, you have our, this is, I'm still in the New York office. Because of this meeting, I didn't go home. It's 1130, I'm still in the New York City. I want to meet many of you. I want you to know that I'm working very, very hard to try to give you, all of you, opportunities. 
Okay, for example, like Grace, you only put a little hours, we bump you up to get you price, right? For many people, we see your work and we appreciate and we want to help you grow to be a leaders, okay? Um, so Stanley, I know you are in China, but you work very hard, you're very busy. When you come to US, you have EFR at your home, okay? Thank you for leading the China, Build Canada. Uh, Justin, I know you're very busy, but Y6, you're leading very successful, definitely with your team, the whole team effort. Uh, by today, uh, we have 250 people team sign up, uh, but the only 150 teams really registered. Uh, we wanna um, probably uh, set up the username for them. But again, uh, February 18, that long president weekend, if any one of you, especially my core founding team, you want to join on site, don't go anywhere waiting for me. I'm working very hard to find a location, talk to hotel people, trying to get some of you, if you're interested, to come on site for free. Okay, one and two days conference in New York City. Okay, um, so um, just so you know, yes, uh, we in New York City, our office, I'm working very hard with Scotty to get sponsorship. So we are in the middle of the golden place of New York City. Um, so summer, we from now on, this year summer, I have 20, 30 internship. Uh, many of them from Ivy League and they come here being 10, they put on the resume, then find a second job. So I will give the opportunity for some of our outstanding students every summer to join us as a volunteer. Okay, then you can put on your resume. By the way, uh, right now for the college application, have a great GPA is important. However, the two students, exact same GPA, one is doing the community, the others only the personal award, like mass, Olympic, those. The second one go to Africa, get into Ivy. So the, all the Ivy um, school or top school, they emphasize on the time, the dedication that you give to your community. So Yefa is your community, okay? How much time you're giving to this community, especially you bring up the new program, you grow with it, you make bigger that, that's your result. You feel free, proud. You know, by the time you go to college, 12th grade, we probably give you a lot of resume training for free. Every one of you should put all this work on the resume that you worked before and you have a specific task and a title that's really helpful because I know everyone, the first job is very challenging, but the year five will give you first job opportunity. Uh, we can give you refer and a reference so that helps you to find another job. Okay. So just this is all the opportunity that for our leaders, but of course, we want to see you work. The people who are sitting there don't work, we see that. You, but we know you're busy, everybody's busy. So soon, uh, actually, Sally and I today just send out, I think more than 30 people um, have the president award. A lot of people will get the hours volunteer award. We're also going to issue the outstanding uh, dedicated volunteer award. Okay, so uh, and then we're going to announce that probably in the next meeting. And then, um, you know, right now we have a couple of events going on, right? Why seek, why stack? And uh, the Kevin's sending a uh, voice. He's going to make I, that's I guiding him. Uh, he's my student, my dear friends. His dad is all very supportive. So I guiding him about this voice, like little kids tech talk. A voice up. So now he's become going to expand this in our platform too. So everyone will learn how to voice, debate, do debate, public speaking. So again, I know Bill, you make a very nice web page and products and cryptocurrency. Um, you feel free. Yeah. Yeah, you should give us. Uh, so I think you should uh, in the each year fast uh, event, Scarlett, we should make a monthly year five event. On that monthly year five event, we should invite everyone uh, who nominate yourself to come to give like five minute talking. You promote your product, the build or build okay. platform. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. We should. I think so. We learned from today. We have uh, 20 people join. I I think we expect a little bit more, but probably a little bit late. And we also did not do the poster. So we. I think so we learned the lesson. Next time we should do the do the poster. Uh, I actually help you to promote 
to different. We probably move a little early, okay, uh, on weekend because I know tonight is because of me. I just finished by a bunch of meeting and I already can join 1030. So next time, Scotty, we probably make the meeting a little bit early. And we also make all the marketing department, we make a nice poster. We actually each year fast monthly, we should have figured like, for example, next time, Bill, you're welcome to introduce your product. Everyone, you should adjust and you should feel free to introduce. So every time of the year fast monthly day meeting, uh, we make everyone that you can actually talk and get a chance talking about your new product, new initiative. And then I, I hope all of you make friends and so anyway, I'm just talking to you that we work very, very hard to, to give you resource, help your club to grow. Um, I know that we especially have Aliyah Young. Can you show your face? I know your club are very exciting. You already get a bunch of students. Aliyah, you show your face here. Say hi. Yeah, say hi. I know your club, you, you already recruiting many clubs and you get everyone sign up by sick, right? Aliyah. Yeah. Do you have any question? Okay. So I do like every one of you trying to grow your club because we're going to offer more and more. And I'm also actually talking to many high school, probably eventually your school too. I want to license out our investment class or some program to them, uh, like after school. So I just want to make more impact, more students to, to become entrepreneur and elite, uh, finance awareness. And we want to become one of the most, that's my dream. That's your dream too. You want to make YearFast one of the most famous international keys for finance, entrepreneur, and all the creativity, right? So um, I'm starting building a relationship, try to get money. So the founding team, Amber, and join here. Uh, we, if we get more funding, I'm trying to talk to more CEOs and things. Uh, in the future, we might do annuals Con uh, congregation conference somewhere that bring all the leader talking about different program. Okay, that's the future. Your team because we have grow. So um, how EFS grow? Counting on many of you. Uh, you feel free, please. Pro you don't need that your school agree you. You just sign up us, but feel free to present your school when the post come and invite people to join. Make your teacher know this because those resources are free to your school so that they, they actually recognize you. You know, when you go to college application, you need a two teacher for your recommendation from your school. That's how you can use our leadership, the year fast resource to present your school teacher and tell them how good you are to leading this club provide those resources to your club, right, to a school. So that's helping you to have a local presence. So anyway, oh, Kevin Chan, text me. I do live in Nashville, tennis. Can I still attend the finance event anyway? Well, yes, uh, if you, okay. Um, yes, if you want to come into finance event, if you can get somehow get yourself um, in New York, if you, your parents were funding your tickets currently at the budget concern, I give a lot of tickets for free because I want to help college students to meet a CEO. But if the high school student, you very, very good wanted to, to get to know, your parents found your ticket, I probably can give five names here because right now I'm, I'm out of the number. I right? only can allow 90. Any one of you want to come in, um, if you fly, here you let me know we'll arrange people to pick you up and i will account you can leave my home i can come and i find people then on thursday we hold days to organize the event then friday probably arrange you to stay a little bit and saturday drop you off the airport and you go but you have to be like 15 to 16 years old otherwise the minor will be more trouble i think it's a 15 right justin how old is that you don't need the minor last time you fly I'm not sure, but I was 16. 16, right. I think it's 15 above. If you're 15 under, there's a lot of trouble. We, we just have offline camps there. Oh, by the way, I'm also organized a New Year's 2023 summer camp that was year by youth entrepreneur. So I will be recruiting some volunteer. And I know uh, Justin this year, so I invite the uh, volunteer because he was, um, last year he was ranking, get into the uh, world top 50. 
Um, he's, he did a talk with Scotty to 65 students on site, very good job. So there's a lot of opportunity. So anyone, you, uh, you know, if you want to come at 929, um, let me know, okay? So 929 right now, I already have it attendance confirmed. Uh, I already meet a bunch of the panel. We have two panels. First panel is all the hiring exactly talking about what kind of people they're looking for. They also were hiring. I have a five, six room for the for every people to meet them. Then the second panel is all those economic and also those really CEOs, the fund managers coming to discuss about market and you know, like Ami John, uh, the high forex uh, high forex and trading CEOs. Uh, they sponsor some of the event. The sponsor usually not a lot of money, but they do. they wanted to to show their support. So if you anyone you come, you need a DM me uh, first come first serve. I will give fine number to all the people leader here. Okay, uh, this pop up to me that uh, you know so you will be a little bit more advanced than other people to get into the Wall Street network. Okay, um, so in the future, I may thinking to. Um, I'm working on different uh, major. So next thing I probably will, I actually met a very successful CEO. She sold her company, very most successful in biotech pharmacy. So my next event will ask her sponsor, invite her and all the bio and pharma. So maybe, so I'm thinking about uh, at, at Delsai Alliance for Impact, we're gonna collaborate with a lot of uh, professional nonprofit because they recognize us. Um, then all the students in year five, even you interested in a different, every conference that adult has, I will open to some of your high school. So you have the opportunity to come to working as volunteer uh, and uh, you know you get to know them and then there'll be more things. So that's my plan. Uh, for example, IEEE, the most famous international IEEE is International Electronic, Electronic Engineering Committee that rose famous with all those famous science scientists. Um, his current president is Chinese. He actually came to our platform talking about metaverse. He is metaverse people. So he's coming once a month talking our platform. He's my alumni. So just so you know that we, uh, we wanted to give you all the resource. Um, anyway, so any people have a question? Again, five people, one, if you close by, drive, uh, that's good too. If you fly, let me know. I only take five high school students, okay? Okay, events start from evening five o'clock until 11 p.m. And second day is Friday. Um, so, okay, anyone, we open to QA? Do anyone have a question? Yeah, I just have one last thing to add. So, so I'm in charge of the local chapters, so the school club, so, don't, so the clubs you guys signed up for. It. So I also need people who can help me develop some resources. I think this is an activity more relevant to you guys since you guys are leaders. So you guys are... Could, could yes so if help the bill, yeah. yes you should form the team right out alex gonna be alex you're gonna I mean, help you right you'll be co-leader yeah, and, yeah. and then um and other people like adjusting you will be need them mostly why seek i need to talk to you why seek we still continue especially with that plan the final uh, i will need to use that so i know but i know you focus on the competition right now but why seek you need to be still be key leader there. Why SAC another key leader, Jenny another leader, marketing is always there. But I suggest all the club leader, um, you know, all the event when you guys have your event, you should go to recruiting, right? The exact same recruiting of oh, my team. Everybody should have your own working group. Uh, at the beginning so that you actually fully run by your own team. Each team, I don't suggest having more than six people, five, six people will be good. So this team will including marketing and, you know, public relationship, coordination, right? So each each program have one leader. And then uh, probably in the, in the next ones right now will be the only investment. I also guiding more than 100 students to different competitions. So uh, I think at a, 
uh, next one month or so, we start to, to, to building the structure. That's why I want everyone to know each other. We start voting for our real next, last time summer, we voting for the co-president. We needed the structure. So Justin, you have this, you are internal control, you VP there, um, you want to, we want to do it with you, but I know you're busy. So, but we do like everyone know each other first to, to see the work, then you start voting uh, to the structure of the YFA. Uh, but again, right now, each program running independently, each team collaboration, you all one team. All the team leader, you sh you have opportunity to join all those other events and have a presence there. Okay, um, so be it. Yeah, please feel free to write the job description that you actually send down in the Discord recruiting one, but don't recruiting to more than five or six. Too many people sometimes can't do the work. Okay. Sounds good, Theo. Okay, yeah, so sounds good. Another question here. Uh, so about the re-election. So uh, I think you told us that uh, we are going to have a re-election uh, at the end of September. So uh, are we going to schedule it as usual? I think so, wait, right now, uh, I'd rather to, especially we just have this first meeting, like right? everyone know each other and everybody be the white sick, white sack. Oh, this happened to be the same time. Um, I think we just try to push out some different program. Uh, we don't want to hurry, especially we, we, we witness people who's doing what, right? Who's joining the meeting, uh, especially Didi running the first agenda this in the Korea on October 15. And Kevin, your, Kevin, I need you to set up your date. Okay, Kevin, I sent some date to you. Yeah. 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 Set up your date. So a last thing happened on October. Um, this November 1st is ED. So if the people are 12th grade in the next year, some of you 12th grade, you want to get a, get more things before November 1st, right? So when you do the college application, you can fill in all those activities. So I think right now we try to push all those work before so that more students have opportunity to get a chance to show, get an award and put on the application. Uh, trust me, the 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 uh, the a sad score that those are important but those are sometimes if you do one activity community service or program is outstanding that actually can equivalent to uh, you know uh, maybe two or three of your AP class so uh, especially Justin you mentioned that your high school don't have a lot of people have or those top IV yield uh, I think except MIT Princeton or those very technical school they really go by grade GPA or your academic but for the Yale uh, Harvard's and kind of those, those uh, top schools they're really looking for students that want to change the world make impact so that's why our adult um, be a nonprofit called Alliance for Impact, the youth version called YFAS. Okay, so you want to identify one area, don't do too many, one or two areas that you make impact, you scalable, so that you can be recognized. And we will try as much as possible to recognize you on YFAS platform. Okay, so yeah, so Scott, I think we need to push a little bit later probably after October, because October is so busy, right? Okay, that's fine. In November after ED. So anyone else have a question? Yeah, all the new club leader, if you have question, please ask. Hello? Anyone question? I'm happy to see many of you. Yeah. Everyone, uh, uh, Scott, does everyone get a chance to introduce themselves, right? Uh, I guess there are two or three uh, later joined members here. Um, I think it's, uh, so, yeah. You know what we should do? I think the, in the monthly newsletter, we should introduce all the, the founders one by one. Like a, maybe each newsletter, we were including five clubs self introduction yeah. we want you to show we want to show you we want to present you everyone we don't we want everyone know you okay so uh, start from here so anyway like a bill your club you're running the club right so yeah I need, i'm running the club yeah i need your club like being creative how can you motivate all the club people support them 
help them to grow. By the way, we do mention about, right? So you have 10, 5, 10, 50 people. For the people that recruiting, have a, you can have your five by monthly meeting, but you should have, you should manage each club leader should have your member list. So that every time we send an email to you, you you should you know forward to them or also ask them to invite all of your club member to the Yepa the community. We want to grow the Yepa community. Yeah, I, I did not see the growth. So I think everyone of me Yepa leader here, you're responsible to take five to ten people get into not Chinese. Yepa is open to everybody. Okay, everybody. So I'm gonna start with some community. So please invite all, tell them that, hey, at least you can use every Sunday the free investment. Say, hey, if you wanted to, to, to join any investment and you don't know knowledge, you can come join us free talk on the Sunday night, right? And we have a lot of events with cash price. So um, we help you. So that's why this is, a, Club leader meeting is everybody discuss how can we motivate your team. If you meet a challenge, you don't know what to do, raise your hand, ask questions. I do see some questions here. Please type your question. So anyone, uh, yeah, you guys uh, already in in year past team, right? Management team. Um, oh, wow, that's good, Kevin Chen. Members, yep, I can't have it wrong. Wow, that's great, Kevin. Wonderful. So I do, we do need a report. So, so uh, yes, I suggest um, with Bill, uh, the form that, so Kevin, the form that I put online, actually for member and for founder, but we do see, if you see your club already, please feel as a member. However, I think each club, leader should uh, manage your own lab, this name, grade, and email, and a phone number. We need this for information, Kevin. And uh, Bill, you need to find a way to clap, manage each club under each school, which is the member list. Okay. Think about that. Maybe, maybe the new form, or maybe, I don't know, maybe a new form just for member, each club leader sent to the, for each individual club leader. leader sent to their club, the first one will be what's your school name, right? Then that will identify. Yeah. Them. So you, and maybe we should number, we should by alphabet order or by the sequence, put the number to club number one, right? That's the school, by, by sequence. Right now the online is by sequence. I don't know, it doesn't matter. But I think maybe we should number the club and also um, uh, give the club leader how can they report the member? And then how, how many times report? Maybe you do the quarterly reporting and once a year by by certain time, by maybe by end of December, you need to think about how can we recognize, right? We need to go give the bronze, silver, and gold. Yeah. I will try to give you some funding certificate because it's good for you too, right? Um, I, I remember when I listened to the seminar about the college application, if you clap, have under 50 people is a skill. If your club impact to more than 100 people, which means you have like 30 member, 50 member, but your audience, if you say Kevin, so I know the Kevin, another Kevin, right? Kevin Chan. So Kevin Chan, uh, I know you there. You mentioned that you have 30 member already, that's great. So if your club decide to give any offline, uh, you can apply some budget from me, okay? Not a lot of money. 100 here, 200 here, I can easily to approve, okay? If you more than certain numbers, so that's a few you should come up. And also, Kevin, if your team come up some interesting creative seminar, you want to have one seminar just talking about your team's ideas, you feel free to book the time because every Saturday, every Saturday, every month, every Saturday is for Generation Z and Yefa. So you can feel free to 9 p.m. Eastern time, 6 p.m. time. So Saturday night is open to all the Yepa leader, but you have to get approved. You have to have a very good topic, good program. Your club can come just show, talk show. Bill, we might should have a club show, right? Each club, more than certain people, you can come here to chance, 
you know, maybe each meeting that you invite one club leader to talking and show the member, or maybe, I don't know. So, um, yeah, you guys to handle. I'm here to write the check to funding you, try to help you find a networking and make you feel fun and proud of your club. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, Kevin, I'm proud of you. Thank you. Okay, anyone have a question? Oh, by the way, the volunteer hours, it does not matter you are US citizen or you are international priest. Uh, every month we should remind all the club leader fill the volunteer hours. From now on, we want to collect, collect your monthly hours, okay? Even the meeting tonight, you counting as a volunteer to prepare for the slide counting for the volunteer hours. Grace, you do the you do the poster counting volunteer hours, okay? It's not just meeting. So uh, I think so. I want by the end of the month, everybody should get used to go to online. Uh, so maybe we make the form a little bit easy that they don't have to fill out the um, family address all the time, but only but for first time. I will check that, make them fill out this volunteer hours easier. You only need to fill out first time your home address because we need to mail the certificate for you. Uh, but the monthly, you just need to continue to fill out how many hours you are. So Skype, we need to, to make that address maybe optional. We'll say if you are first time, you fill address. Second time, you, you should modify that. So every time they should have a name and school name because sometimes you have people have the same, same name, right? Name, birthday, we need a birthday so that we evaluate you either to go different age, different hours. So you should have a name, um, school name, birthday, and how many hours from, from when to when, how many hours. If you forget to booking in one month, you want to catch up second month, you will say from June 1st to August and you're booking this out. We want to help you to track in your hours, okay, and recognize you so that uh, every year we will give twice or three times will be freckle. At least right now we just finish one batch, one do by semester, because uh, certificate is usually in last twelve months. However, different person the birth is different. So uh, if you don't have enough time by September now, we just submit it. We keep your hours, then you can accumulate to December. We issue another time in December in January. Okay, so. Um, if you if we already issue you award like gold or silver whatever, then by September you restart at zero for next calendar year. We have the Excel to track you. Scotty track that. Scotty, you should be recruiting some more member to help you to manage, right? So we do tracking. Want you to track your hours. Um, if you are our member, you also doing the volunteer outside. It's okay. We could include in your outside hours too. However, we usually including only 20 to 30%, but for special case, case by case. So uh, we're being generous, but we actually spend money. Like each person we apply the award for you costs us five to 10 bucks, sometimes 20 bucks if we. So this year, the medal, the medal is run out. So we just submit today, we order you president with the, the paper certificate. That's at least cost $5 made to us. So it costs probably five dollars mail to you. So, uh, but it's free for you, okay? Um, so we want you to make sure that you start to learn how to accumulate, learn how to recording your work. Uh, when I work in the Wall Street and manage team, we will ask each every individual person write out your weekly achievement because you want you you gotta get this habit. You want people in the future recognize you. You just cry. Oh, I do so many things. Nobody know. But you use learn how to use the fact. Hey, this is what I do. This is how they're booking mostly. That's fact. Evidence is stronger, more convincing. Okay, so uh, that's the question. Any other question? I'm checking the text box. So. Well, Bill, you got us thinking about how to booking the member as soon as possible, okay? And all yeah, yeah. Last thing I need to talk to you when you get a chance about how we still need a people who are working with the white sick. We still need you do the minimum job at least for now, right? Bill, you need to monitor, uh, help the uh, monitor the Discord. Um, yeah. Like Alex, Justin, you should also monitor the Discord channel uh, to see the question. 
monitor the ranking to see any unstrange, unexpected event, unexpected question. So Justin, you are the leader for Y6. So you, you should to monitor the Y6 group. That any question come up, any weird stuff, okay? And then uh, I know that Greece have been helping. We still continue because Y6 is big. Y6 get a lot of attention. A lot of company wanted to have a logo on that. So uh, we also give the free weekly. So we um, marketing team, I don't know how many people here. We do still need you to put those weekly or maybe some post online we'll give to you. So we're gonna have a little bit separate talking that. Someone still continue to monitor the trading the, the team. Uh, we finance team, I need to talking to Amber. We still need to looking for the fund. So I think Justin, you might want to involve this too. How to looking for the fund for some banking or things to sponsor the YC. So uh, you do at least whenever you have time. Okay. So we, and also we start, I'm start to uh, October. I have a, a CEO who show up night 29. He just received $25 million uh, fund. Uh, is is one of the largest uh, restaurant a software system. He said he would give me free use his conference room, a very huge, holding 80 people right across and lock failure center, the center of New York. Uh, it's going to finish in October. So I'm actually looking for this place for the February 18th. So Justin, your team here, Y6 team here, um, you will need to still keep eye on that. Uh, so maybe you get a chance to come to New York, but I do need you to continue to do some of the job, okay? Justin. Okay. So any other question? Why stack? The challenge there, why stack is the art competition. Uh, we, we, I, I know you're busy, but everyone, if you can spread ISAC, we need to make a nicer shrinker. Scarlett, we might be thinking about the one page why stack. Uh, poster that can have everything that post what to submit what's a what just one page and ask all the club leaders sent to the school library we need to do that otherwise the uh, you know so we're going to take that off but again this is a club leader everybody um we need you to spend time to help promote the efa get more people get into the efa team uh same time please if you need anything that we can help. Okay, anyone have more questions? I know it's late. I need to go home too. It's midnight. Take one hour to get home. Anyone have a question? We will see a couple of new faces. Happy for that. Okay. Bill, you have a question? Uh, no. Okay. So, Scotty, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Show up today. It's late. So we're goodbye. Next time we should move meeting a little bit early. Okay, bye bye everyone. Thank you and good night. Thank bye. You. Thank you. Bye. bye. bye.